Right, so now that we're all situated, I will take a seat right here. Right, okay. Let's um, move some things. Right, so... Uh, we're in the communication room. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. So, uh, what do you want to know? Everything. How long New Leaf has been overrun. How it became overrun. Who, if anyone, made it overrun. How are people handling this? Just everything. <laughs> right, okay. Well... Um, we'll go one question at a time, right? So, we'll start with how long. Today is day three, and today is almost over. So, it's about to be four days. Uh, see, on account of my blindness, I can't exactly keep track of time anymore. Yeah, I, I know, but... I'm sure people will tell you the time if you just ask, you know? It's as simple as that. I know they will, but doesn't mean I want them to. Yeah, I, I know that too. You'd prefer to do it all yourself. But there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help. Say it's the one that never accepts any. Hey! Okay, come on, I accept help. Sometimes, but either way, moving on to your second question. You asked how this happened, right? Yeah, I asked how. Now, this is the thing. I don't know. I don't know how they got in, but their point of entrance was behind the hospital. But if a wall was destroyed, wouldn't someone have noticed that? Like a guard? Exactly. Which is why I don't think the walls are destroyed. You know? So that means that they must have come over them somehow, because they couldn't have come through the sewers. So they must have come over them. Over the walls? How? Guards wouldn't let that happen. No, guards wouldn't let that happen. So they're probably dead. As for how they'd get the herd over, I mean, anything is possible. They? Um, huh? You said they. How they'd get the herd over. You think this was them. The silenced. Um. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'd be stupid not to consider that. But in truth, I have no idea. If you ask me, a herd wouldn't just do this by themselves. They must have been led here and let in. Yeah, agreed, but I have no way of working that out right now. Maybe not right now, but eventually you will. Yeah, that's... Either way, if this wasn't them, right, then I don't know who could have done this. The Aces? Or those Saviour people? Well, this is the thing. I'm pretty sure... Saviors are gone. I haven't heard anything about them in God knows how long. And it could be the Aces. That, that's a possibility, but I, I don't think it is. I don't know. My, my gut tells me that it's the silenced. It would make the most sense, but what does this achieve? Uh, nothing. Really? I mean, except for us being either dead or gone. It just means that they get whatever is left here. If this is them, we'll make them pay. We already need to for what they did to our loved ones and us. Now we have this on top of that. 
Yeah. We will make them pay. For everything. Um, but, but anyway. Do you still want to know how everyone's handling this situation? Yeah. It's probably for the best to move on from all the revenge talk. Yeah, agreed. But most people here in New Leaf are holding it together. I mean, it, it's safer here than it is in most parts of the community. Except for Greenport, they have bigger and stronger walls. Yeah, but their walls didn't protect them very well. Because Greenport is also overrun. Really? Yeah. They must not have closed the gates in time or something, I'm not entirely sure. Do we know if anyone from there made it? Well, actually I've been told that they all did, but I'm not sure how long they'll last though. Greenport has a strong group of people. They'll be able to hold out until something is worked out. Heard from anyone else? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I have no idea who's dead or alive. For all I know, everyone could be dead, and we wouldn't even know it. Well, that's a lovely way of thinking. I, I know, I'm, I'm sorry. But anyway, that does just about bring you up to speed, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so long story short, we have no clue what's going on here. Yep, pretty much. But, if we work together, then we can work something out. I'm sure you're right. And thank you, Ryan, for being honest with me. Of course, Pat. You're more than welcome. But, um, anyway, I better go check on how the guards are doing. Because he's doing, doing great. Um, great? No. I was gonna say they're not doing great but they're downstairs right now um if you two are gonna be all right up here just for the time being I mean you can play some music if you want these walls are kind of thick so the noise won't really be heard from outside so if you want to go right ahead just try not to do it too much because we do have a limited power supply but if you want to then don't let me see you I'll, um, I'll see you all later, okay? I'll shut the door, too. Um, Alright. So, yeah, they're still laying down, okay? Let's go and uh, talk to Francine. See how they're getting on. Um, all the other guards are just sitting around. Um, one of them's not here. I think he was stood at the front gate. But, um, I don't know. So, I think at least got the mic. Okay, they're gone. They're gone. Oh, um, <clears throat> hey, they're gone. Yeah, I know, I, I then noticed. I'm sorry. I am too. We took a risk by heading to the sewers, and it paid off for the rest of us, just not these two. Yeah. But they didn't die in vain, right? They helped you to get here. They did. But if we hadn't been trapped in the hospital together, I would never have known these men's names. Well, I mean, it's... It's hard to remember everyone's name, Franz. It's, it's not that. The same guards are always stationed at the hospital. Every day. I never knew them. Never knew their names, how old they were, if they had any family. None of that. It took being trapped to actually get to know them. Come on, Franz. Don't beat yourself up about that, says you. 
it's a wake up call is all if or when we get out of this i'm gonna do my best to get to know people better you know what that sounds sounds like a good plan so tell me then what do you know about them well the man on the other sofa Alden Wilson. He was 26. Single. Lost his family at the start. Tried to keep to himself for as long as he could, but he just became too alone. And a group came across him. He stayed with them for a long time until they were attacked by saviors, I believe. Most other group was killed. The ones that survived were injured. And that was the first time Alden killed a person. It didn't take long for the remaining members of this group to turn on each other. Minimal food, minimal medicine, everyone was hurting, including him. He told us about a girl, someone he saw as a younger sister. She'd been badly injured in the attack and was unconscious for a long time. Eventually his group ran out of meds and she died. Slowly, one by one, people started to die from infection, starvation, or exhaustion. He said him and some others split up to look for supplies, but when he made it back with supplies, it's already too late. He managed to patch himself up, and went from group to group from there, until he eventually came here, became a guard, and he said he felt happy with everything he had accomplished here, the life he had made for himself. Oh. And you remembered all of that? I did. I didn't exactly have much else to do. I mean, it's good that you listened. There's a file on him somewhere. There's a file on everyone somewhere. But um, I don't remember that much off the top of my head. Well, in that case, want to hear how much I remember about Wade, too? Uh, you know what? Yeah. Of course. Wade Smith, 21 years old, was waiting to have his first drink with some friends down at the Yin Yang, but never got the chance. He survived with his family for nearly three years before they got into a car wreck said a group had set up a roadblock, wanted their car and everything in it. His mother and sister died on impact, and the group killed his father, before then taking him and his younger brother for bait. They used him and his brother to lure in more victims that they robbed and killed, until one day Wade and his brother turned the tables. During one of the robberies, he grabbed a gun that he found lying around, and shot at his attackers. He took down a few before he himself got shot. That's when his little brother took the gun and finished what he started. He said they ran and didn't look back, survived for a while together until they heard about a little place named New Leaf. Huh. Interestingly enough, I actually kind of remember that one. His brother is here too, right? In New Leaf, I mean, not here. He is. Which means he doesn't know about his brother. We'll have to be the ones to tell him. We have to get out of this situation first. And we will. And hey, I know this is sudden, but what do we do with their bodies? Oh, um, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we could bury them here, but really they should be somewhere made for it, not a prison. The graveyard isn't an option right now, and we can't just put them somewhere because they'll start making us sick over time. I know. And we can't throw them over the wall, because they deserve a burial. So, what do we do? Um, 
the freezer could work but there's food in there and yeah but okay like, i'll clear out some space right at the back of the freezer right okay bring the food to the front keep them as separate from each other as i can to avoid any contamination i don't know are you sure i mean what other option is there <laughs> they're people i mean you said it wade has a brother it's all it's all we can do all right so do you mind helping me move their bodies yeah um i will in a moment i just need to record an announcement with reese first okay i guess that will give everyone more time to say goodbye yeah exactly um do those those two over there no okay um i'll tell them to come over and um do whatever they need to do and um i'll be back as soon as i can i'll uh go make that announcement and then i'll come back help you move the bodies and then i'll clear out some room um <clears throat> okay um sorry to bother you too um I'm sorry, but um, your friends are gone. Do you have any goodbyes or anything you want to say before we move their bodies? Um, now would be the time. And I'm sorry for your loss. Okay. <sighs> now, okay. Make some space in the freezer. I mean, it, it's gonna be strange having bodies in a freezer full of food that we're eating, but what's gonna do? We can't just let them. I don't know. We can't just leave them to, to rot. Then they. No, I, I can't do that. I, yeah, no, I, I can't do that. We need to. They need to have a burial or something when we can, but, oh, Reese is already out and ready to go, okay, um, it's a good thing he remembered, I'm glad, um, okay, um, ready to film this announcement? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready, let's do this, okay, in three, two, one, go, so, a lot has happened today. Some of you know, some of you don't. Let's start with the loss of power and plumbing this morning. Our generator is still running and even when that stops, we will have our backup generator. All or most power has been diverted to keep only the necessities up and running and this, of course, means the, fr the refrigerators and freezers. Heating is still working, although I ask that you use it cautiously, because it will run out also. Now, next thing. The meal we had tonight will be the last time we have three meals a day. Now, I know it was decided that we would have three meals a day for a week and then cut down but I'm afraid that's not possible anymore. Starting tomorrow, we will only be having two meals a day. We were lucky enough to get food delivery the day New Leaf became overrun, but not everyone was as lucky as us. Many people only have what they had laying around in their homes or in whatever, whatever building they may currently be stuck in. I feel that it's only fair to send out food packages to those who need them. Subsequently, we'll have to cut down how much food we're eating. So, two meals a day is still a decent amount. And thanks to Francine and the people with her, we managed to get a small amount of food from them. They also brought us some water they had at the hospital. Now, some of you knew that two of the people with Francine had been bitten. Sadly, 
they both passed away a few moments ago, at the time Reese and I are filming this anyway. Alden Wilson and Wade Smith both fought to get everyone from the hospital here safely, and they lost their lives in the process. Their sacrifice won't be forgotten. And I'd like to say thank you to them, wherever they may be now, for protecting Francine and the people with her, even though they knew their lives were coming to an end. We don't know how many people we have lost outside of these walls. We only know what's going on with people that have radios. But when I send out food packages, the drone should give me some kind of idea of what is happening out there, how bad the situation is. It might also give me some kind of idea of how this happened. Not sure how long the battery life is on a drone, but hopefully it's long enough to get supplies to quite a few people. We'll have a meeting tomorrow to discuss our plans for once we're out of New Leaf. Thanks to France, uh, Francine, sorry, and the group with her, once again, we know that there's far less walkers in the sewers than there are above ground. So it's still risky to travel through the sewers, but hopefully the risk will be worth it. And if anyone has any ideas for what to do once we're out of New Leaf, Keep those ideas in mind for the meeting. I need as many ideas as I can get, because sadly I don't have many myself, and maybe you all do. So just to repeat, this meeting will be tomorrow, probably around noon. I will also begin sending out the food packages tomorrow. Our first of two meals will be between morning and afternoon. Our second will be between afternoon and evening. I understand that the sudden cut of rations will be disliked, but I'm afraid it's necessary if we're all to survive. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to bring them up to me when you see me or at the meeting tomorrow. Thank you all for listening, and most of all for staying strong in these difficult times. How was that? You did great. I'll take this around and play it for as many people as I can. Yeah. Thanks, Reese. You're welcome. Um, how do you think people are going to react to rations being cut down so soon? Well, probably not very well, I'd imagine. Um, what are your thoughts on it? My thoughts? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, it's not going to be easy, but no matter when we decided to cut rations down, it was going to be hard. At least this way, we get it over and done with sooner, and plus we help others in the process. So arguing this is selfish, really. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Just... Hopefully, everyone else will see it that way. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, that we will. But thank you again, Reese. I better get back to France. I need to help her move the bodies. Um, yeah, I, I need to get back to her. But thank you for once again helping me film another announcement. I'm sure we'll be making plenty of those in the future. So, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it, to do whatever magic you do with that. If you, I don't know, are you editing the footage? I don't know what you do, but I'll leave you to it, okay? Thank you. I know I keep saying it, but I do really mean it. <sighs> announcement done. Now to help Francine.